All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use SiteGround and add an additional domain to your account so that you can have multiple multiple websites on on one uh, hosting account. So um, looking at SiteGround's uh, web page here, um, if you have the startup account, this is not going to work because you can only have one website. You're going to need to do this grow big or grow geek. Um, I am using the grow big. Um, so right now I have two websites. I will show you how to do that. So let's go over. So I've logged into my account and in my accounts, you can see that I have uh, my hosting account is grow big and you can see I have two domains um, that are in my account. So how to do that? through SiteGround is you go over to add services and um, if like I said if you don't already you have to get the grow big or grow, go geek uh, hosting plan and then you search for whatever you want um, I'll just put something random in there and then you search for the domain see if it's available it's available and then you just do this one that says register this domain name only and choose your options if you want domain privacy which I recommend um, do that and then uh, finish and pay and all that good stuff and when you go back to your account your account will look something like this but you need to do another step uh, to link that so you need to on your my accounts click go to cPanel and you need to click this add domains and you can see I have this thing right here I'm gonna remove this so you can see what it looks like so I'm gonna go back here so let me quickly go back to cPanel home so I'm gonna show you what happens if you don't do the add domains or don't hit the add-on domains if you go to WordPress um, which is what I'm planning to do so I have WordPress installed on my first domain and I want to install it on my second um, you can see that it's installed here if I go to install now and choose the domain the new one that you've just purchased is not going to show up there so that's not good so let's go back real quick go back to cPanel and go to add on domains and then you need to put your domain name in there and everything else will pretty much pre-populate if you want to change anything you can do that um, and then put a password okay and then hit add domain and add-on domain is done so now you can see the stuff down here and if you go back to cPanel home and go down to WordPress installer and install now you can now see that you have an option for the new domain that you created um, this one you can ignore I'm not sure why it does that um, might be useful for somebody but um, not for me so um, I'm just gonna select that and then you can do your WordPress installation and that's it so uh, if you like the video hit that like button subscribe and if you don't already have an account with SiteGrounds I'd appreciate it if you use my referral link in the description alright thanks guys